incredibly awesome is going to happen in five minutes. As you all know, the Kingdom's Golden Pomposity Contest includes a, a, a performing arts competition this year. Uh, Lord Galateus of Asia Minor has been studying the play Glingonati, or The Deceived, first performed by the Internati of Siena, February 12, 1532, uh, during carnival season. Yeah. Oh, Tuesday. Oh. Yeah, Tuesday, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> The records don't say. The records don't say. We can probably look it up. Actually, according to the period of practice, it's on the surface. Okay. Well, there we So I had her sent to the convent of San Crescenzio, 
to stay with her sister Camilla, I mean her aunt Camilla. She's still there, for I just got back last night, as you know. Are you sure she's in the convent and not somewhere else? Of course she's there. Where else could she be? Well, I've been in the convent several times on uh, uh, business of my own, <laughs> and I've asked to see her, but with no success. And certain sisters have told me that she's not there. Well, I think the good sisters at the convent want her to become a nun so they can get their hands on what little is left of my fortune after I die. But their plan will not work, for I am not so old that I can't still father a couple sons when I take a wife. <laughs> Us? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But between my legs, I'm still as green as Boccaccio. Well, that's a lot of information. <laughs> and I defy any of these pansy boys who strut around my data trying to act tough with their hat feathers stuck up stiff on the gelf style, with their swords at their thigh, with their daggers hanging behind their ass, with their silk tassels. Uh, why, I defy them to outdo me at anything! Perhaps I'm running. Oh, oh, you've got a great heart, although I don't know how well you'll keep up. <laughs> you just asked Lelia how I kept it up after her first night with me. <laughs> For God's sake, go easy on her. She's still young and innocent. And it's not good to be too forceful in the beginning. Uh, how old is she? Oh, well, uh, while we were held prisoners of the sack of Rome, she was just 13. Since the sack of Rome took place in 1527, that means that in 1532, when the action of the play took place, Lelia would have been 18. Not particularly young by Renaissance standards, <laughs> upper class brides. That's perfect for me. I don't want a wife who's too young or too old. I have the most beautiful jewels, the most beautiful necklaces, the most beautiful accoutrements for a bride uh, of, of any man in Modena. Excellent. I'm satisfied for her happiness and yours. And regarding the dowry, the sleepwalk agreement? Do you think I would change my mind? Good Bob. Well, good day to you, sir. <laughs> oh, but I think I see her balia now. I'll send her to the convent and have them send Lelia home. That will save me the trouble. I wonder what to make of the fact that my chickens were so excited this morning. They made so much noise, and it was as if they wanted to throw the house into confusion. <laughs> or else make me rich with their eggs. <laughs> Still, something strange is going to happen to me today. They never make so much noise unless there's bad news. Something is wrong. <laughs> what are you doing? Talking to yourself? Like a dog. Oh, but 
Don't you see that's the problem? Young girls don't want to be treated like daughters. They want to be treated like wives. They want a man who will sweep them off their feet and, and bite them. <laughs> Come on, are you pretending you don't recognize me? 
either I nor anyone else is going to recognize you if you don't lower that cake. Now do you recognize me? <gasps> Lelia? Lelia, is that you? Oh my god, Lelia. <gasps> what a disaster! My life is ruined! Oh my god, it is you! What is this? <laughs> Naughty little girl. What will people say when they find out about 
this. Who's going to say anything if you don't tell them? Now, this is what I want you to do, because I learned last night that my father returned, and I imagine he'll send for me. See to it that for three or four days he doesn't. Why? Because Flaminio, as I told you earlier, is in love with Isabella Foyani, and often, very often, he sends me to her with letters and messages. She, she, in the meantime, has fallen madly in love with me, thinking that I'm a man, <laughs> and gives me the sweetest caresses ever. <laughs> oh, no. I told her that I don't want to be her lover until she gets rid of Flaminio first, and I've already brought matters to a head, and I'm hoping in the next three or four days everything will come together, and he will be her. <laughs> I'm afraid that your father has already sent me to get you, and, and if you don't come back to your house with me right now and get out of those men's clothes, I'll tell! If you do, you'll be responsible for me going where no one will ever see me again. Do as I ask. But I hear Flaminio calling me, my lord! See to it. Meet me an hour at your house. I'll see to it then. And you should know that I've taken the name of Fabio Dele Alberini if, if you want to find me. I'm coming, sir! Thank you. If Virginio keeps his promise, I'm going to be giving myself the best time of any man in Modena. <laughs> what do you think, Spella? Wouldn't that be something? I think it would be better if you gave something to your nephews who need it. Yeah. Or to me. Since I've served you so long, I've worn the soles off my shoes! Oh, I'm afraid this wife of yours is going to send you over the edge. Or uh, give you a set of... Uh, actually, I'm sure of it. <laughs> You'll see. She'll be well paid by me. <laughs> I believe you. While other men would satisfy her with good hard coin, you'll pay her with tiny little half pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Coins of poured into a purse, were seen as a metaphor for sexual intercourse. With the intercourse being all the more satisfying if the coins were large and of good metal. <laughs> There's her body. Be quiet while I cleverly ask her how Lele is. <laughs> Why, what a handsome lily fresh from the garden that Gerardo is to one wife so young. <clears throat> oh, who am I kidding? Who would ever think it was a good idea to hand Lele over to that wheezy, drooling, rancid, moldy old snot nose? Right. 
What a beautiful Neapolitan city. But check this monument, everybody. It's never been said before. <laughs> oh, Clemenzia, I want to hug and kiss you a thousand times. Oh, I, I, <laughs> oh, I don't want to be kissed by an old man. Do I see to you that old? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What do you think? At least my master's eyes haven't fallen out of his mouth yet. Oops, I mean his teeth. I mean, I mean, now that I look on you, you don't seem to need that hold at all. <sighs> well, come, um, tell Lelia that. And listen, if you put in a good word for me with her, I'll give you a veil. Wow, big spender. What will you give me? I'll tell her. You, if you, you, you do realize, don't you, that that Lily would prefer, prefer to see you dressed differently. And right now, you look like an old goat. What do you mean? Do I look like Flea? <laughs> oh! 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 I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, I have the finest clothes of any man in the world. But uh, I know your advice, and she'll soon find that I have a different But. Uh, where can I see her when she returns from the convent? At the Bazovara gate. I'm going there to meet her now. Oh, let me come with you. We could uh, talk as we walk. <laughs> well, no, what would people say? <laughs> Go on now, Clemenzia. Goodbye. Come along now, Spela. I've decided to refashion myself. I'm going to dress more stylishly to please my wife. This is going to end badly. <laughs> Go to the shop of Marco, the perfume maker, and get me a jar of musk. I'm ready to lead the life of a lover. <laughs> Where's the money? Here, take this bolognino and be quick about it. I'm going home. You know, it is very disheartening that after all this time, you have yet to win a kind word from me from that <laughs> and ungrateful Isabella. Tell me again, what did she tell you last night when you took her my letters? I've already told you twenty times. Tell me again, what is it to you? What's it to me? It makes me sad to see you so downcast. It makes me suffer almost as much as you, and I worry that her replies will make you unhappy with me. Oh, Fabio! <laughs> I love you like a brother, and I know that you love me. And you can be sure that I will never let you down. Now tell me, what did she say? She said that the greatest pleasure you could give her in the whole world would be to leave her alone and stop thinking about her because she's fallen in love with someone else and she can't stand the sight of you anymore, and you're wasting your time quoting her because when all is said and done, you're going to find yourself empty-handed. <laughs> <laughs> seem to you that she meant it? <laughs> <laughs> or she mad at me about something? Ah, never mind. I am prepared to court her until the day I die. What do you think? Don't you think it's a good idea, Fabio? I don't, sir. Why not? Because uh, if I was in your shoes, I would want her to be happy with my courtship. Now, what woman would pass up a man like you? Noble, accomplished, gentle-mannered, and handsome. Uh, take my advice, Master. Drop her and find another person. You'll have no trouble finding another. Yes, perhaps, maybe one just as beautiful. Tell me, haven't you ever appreciated the attentions of another woman here in Modena? There was once another. Her name was Lelia. Oh, she's reputed to be the most beautiful, wise, well-mannered young woman in these parts. I should point her out to you someday. Master, turnabout's fair play. You have ignored someone who loves you. It's only fair now that you should be ignored. What are you trying to say? If that poor young woman was your first love, and she continues to love you more than ever, why have you abandoned her to run off with someone else? Fabio, you are still a young boy and cannot understand the power of love. I am forced to love and adore this new woman, and I cannot think about anyone else. Now, go on. See if you can wheedle out of her why it is she's so mad at me and doesn't want to see me right now. You're wasting your time. I'm willing to waste my time. You're not going to accomplish anything. Go on, do as I say. As soon as the moment's right, I'll give my best shot. Fabio, if you can do it, I will be very pleased with you. 
Oh, it seems we split up just in time. Here comes Pasquale looking for me. I do not believe there is a greater pain or hassle in the entire world for someone like me than to serve a young girl in love. Oh, <laughs> Oh, come on. 
Come, dear Fabio, my sweet, my soul, come quickly. You know if you don't, she'll just send me out again because she won't believe I talked with you. Fine, all right, I'll come. I was just kidding. <coughs> when, my sweet? Soon enough. Now, get lost. I will be waiting for you at the door. <laughs> <laughs> He hasn't returned. I do not know what to make of his delay. I was going. <coughs> and then you pulled me back. <laughs> Is that my fault? Well, go there now and see if he's there, and then wait for him outside. <coughs> when he comes out, send him here immediately. And how am I to know if he's in there? Do you want me to knock on the door and ask? Oh, what an ask! It's clear I don't have anyone who's worth a fig to serve me besides Fabio. God help me reward him as he deserves. <laughs> What do you want me to say? I say yes, of course. Fabio is good. <coughs> Fabio is handsome. Fabio serves well. Fabio with you. Fabio with your girl. <laughs> Fabio is everything. Fabio does everything. But... <coughs> but what? <coughs> he may not be exactly the right stuff. What are you getting at with this stuff thing? Uh, that you can't always trust him. Look, he's a foreigner, right? One day you may wake up to find out his cup, carry off all your stuff. <laughs> oh, I wish I had as much faith in you others as I do in Fabio. Oh, there's the jangling keys of Scatiza. Ask him if he's seen Fabio. I'm walking onto the pretty bank. Hello, Scatiza. Have you seen Fabio? <laughs> Who, your boy with the right stuff? You can have him. <laughs> 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 oh, where are you at? Oh, why my old master? Oh, he just left. Oh, where'd he go? That way, come on. I've got a great story to tell you about what happened to me and my Katharina. Best story ever. Could there be a worse thing in the world than to serve a master who's crazy? <laughs> Gerardo sent me to buy Moscow. When I told the apothecary that I only had one Molinino, he insisted I had forgotten what he wanted and suggested that... Oh, Maybe he asked for a jar of unguent for mange instead, or because oh, that's what he really needs. <laughs> <laughs> so I began to explain Gerardo's mad love so he would believe me. And he, along with several other young fellows who were there, almost died laughing.
<laughs> I'll tell you right out, I'd rather see that kiss than earn a hundred scooty. I saw it, but I'd rather had it. <laughs> Just how much he 
loves you. Why waste any more time serving this cruel man? I'll go find Clemencia. Together we can decide what to do with the rest of my life. <laughs>
I'm really glad that I like this place. How about you, Mr. Walter? Oh, well, it seems like heaven to me. Here, too, one doesn't eat or drink. <laughs> let's go. Let's not waste any more time looking at this place. We can look at it at our leisure after <clears throat> <laughs> oh, yeah. I know as far as I'm concerned, I am not leaving the kitchen. Whoever else wants to wander around can do so. Now let's find a place to stay. You're in a great rush. Oh, a pox on you. Here I am, dying of hunger, and I haven't had anything to eat today except the half a hen you left me on the boat. Yeah, what? Tudor. Whom can we find to show us my father's house? Well, it occurs to me that what we really should do is find him a place to stay where we can rest and then look for him at our leisure. I like that idea. These do seem to be ends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, good sirs, good sirs. This is the end for you if you want Lottie. Come to the mirror, to the mirror. <laughs> Oh, gentlemen, you're most welcome here. Don't you remember your frula? I've been your host other times. <laughs> well, please, <laughs> gentlemen, come inside where all the men of your quality put out. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
she's crisp. And I'm going to find her. And when I do, there'll be hell to pay! Fine, you just do as you please. As for me, I'm off. There's no use preaching to the death of men. <laughs> Maybe it's not her. 
A father knows his own child. Besides, don't we see all the signs that Sister Blabbermouth told us about? Things are getting bad. I think I'm in trouble. <laughs> Hello there, young lady. Is this the new way for a young lady to dress? Is this the honor that you owe your family? Is this the happiness you give to this poor old man? If only I'd been dead when I'd fathered you. It seems like the only reason you were born was to disgrace me and bury me alive. Oh, Gerardo, Gerardo, what do you think of your bride? Do you think she would be the honor? I won't say so. My bride, partly. But tramp, disgrace. It would serve you right if this fine gentleman didn't want you for his wife, and no one else would have you either. But he won't let your foolishness stand between you. He still wants to have you. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> Get into that house, you disgrace. It seems clear now that the milk your mother gave you on the day I sired you was damned. Old man. Don't you have sons, relatives, or friends in the city who take care of you? What a reply! What do you mean? Well, in obvious view of you need of a doctor, I'm surprised that they don't that they even let you out of the house. In any other city, they'd keep someone like you tied down. <laughs> she really is pretty. <laughs> if there's no problems other than what one can see. I'll take her. <laughs> Why, did you Why did you leave from the place where I sent you? You never sent me anywhere that I know. But I was forced to leave. Forced? Forced? Who forced you? The Spaniards. <laughs> and where did you just come from? From the military camp. <gasps> Lelia 
dressed as a man. Uh -huh. And thus her clothing <laughs> shows she is bad. Although perhaps sexually exciting in a man's clothing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to 
embrace him and hug him and kiss him. Oh, oh Master, quantum mutatis ad ego. Translation, how the times have changed him. <laughs> He's no longer a child to hold in your arms. He's all grown up. He won't, you won't recognize him and he won't recognize you either, especially with how much you've changed. <laughs> She's all grown up and rounded out. <laughs> the word from the original cross note, which as Gerardo's reply indicates. Which I haven't delivered yet. <laughs> Sorry. Can be pregnant as well as filled out of March. <laughs> filled out? You mean, you mean she's pregnant? If that's the case, you can have her. I don't want her. No, 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 no. I mean, she's grown up to a Fine, shapely woman. Where was I? <laughs> Professor, I haven't embraced you yet. <laughs> oh, Master, the things I have done for your son, I can tell you. <laughs> and in turn, there was nothing that was asked of him that was not done immediately. Oh, how did the studies go? As well as in all things, would liquid per various uh, causes per top discrimina red. Translation, accomplishing everything you could, given the prevail and be. Do you want him? Oh, send him up, Professor. But don't tell him who I am. I want to see if he recognizes me. Well, he left me in a little while ago. Let me go and see if he's returned. Sir Walter! Hey, Sir Walter, has the razor returned? <laughs> Patience. What if I'm not mistaken? That's Lelio's 
somehow escaped. That silly survey girl has let her get away. Do you think, Clemente, that Fortune just enjoys toying with me? Oh, just relax and leave everything to me. I'll find a way to make it all work out for you. I want both to greet her and to find out how she escaped. Ha! Ah! <laughs> May God give you a good day, Clementia. <laughs> and you too, Lelia, my sweet bride. Who let you out? The maid, was it? Huh, I'm glad you went to your folly's house. But you seen here, these clothes isn't very honorable for me or for you. Who's <laughs> Lelia? I'm not Lelia. What's, what's Lelia? God! <laughs> Didn't your father and I lock you up in my house with my daughter? And didn't you admit you were Lelia? And didn't you think I would recognize, wouldn't recognize my own wife? Now go in there and change those clothes. You're crazy if you think I want a husband. Break 
break your neck. And if she is, will you give me a blouse? <laughs> <laughs> right. so, let me open the door. Oh, no, I want to do it myself. You just find some excuse. <laughs> God, I hope he doesn't find them still going at it, but, but it's been a while since oh. I left them. Pasquale, how long ago did my Fabio leave? Why? Because he is a traitor and I'm going to punish him, and because Isabella has left me for him, that she will get what she deserves. Oh, what a fine thing for a noble woman to have fallen in love with a mere serving boy. Oh, don't get yourself all upset. All those, all those caresses she gave him, she gave him as a sign of her love for you. Well, when you see her, you can tell her that one day she'll be sorry. And when you see Fabio, you can tell him that I'm going to cut off his lips. And then I'm going to cut off his ears. And I'm going to pluck out an eyeball. And put them all on a plate. And give them to dear Isabella. So that she can kiss them any time she wishes. Oh, God! This is what things have come to, then. This is it. I'm ruined. That traitor, Virginio. That dirty traitor. He made me. Oh, God, what can I do? Master, what's wrong? What's wrong? Who's that man in there with my daughter? Man? What man? Isn't it Virginia's baby girl? That yeah, baby girl, huh? Mm. A baby girl will make my daughter have babies of her own. What do you mean? Isn't it Lydia? I'm telling you, it's a man. I saw him with my own eyes. What? It can't be true. You can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, get 
do, Scrub Watcher? Come on! Um, with or without weapons? I don't have any weapons. To a sword fight? Oh! Get one from the end. Master, with that large shield, you should have a lance. You think this looks big on me? <laughs> <laughs>
accusation might be true, but you call him ungrateful? No! There is not a man alive who despises such behavior more. I wasn't talking about you. But you know, there was once in this city a young woman who, realizing that she was admired by a knight, and one of your peers here in Modena, <laughs> fell so deeply in love with him that she lost sight of everything else. Oh, what a lucky man. What a happy man. I certainly couldn't say as much for myself. And it so happened that her father sent her away from Modena, and fearing that her lover would forget her, she cried so much that it was a wonder to see. And her lover immediately found another lover, and it was as she had never existed. Oh, I should say that such a man should be called a traitor, not a knight. Oh, listen, it gets worse. <laughs> when she returned to Modena after several months, she found that her lover loved another who didn't love him. Her lover. And so, abandoning her house and her father, she dressed herself as a young man and took a job with her lover as his servant. I'd rather be this lucky lover than the Lord of Milan. Do you want to hear the rest? <laughs> this lover of hers not recognizing her, used her as a go-between with his new love. And to make him happy, she did everything he asked. Oh, virtuous woman, what constant love. This love could serve as a lesson for future centuries. Oh, please, Clement. <laughs> 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 but first, I want you to tell me on your honor as a knight, what would you do if such a thing happened to you? Would you punish this young girl? Would you kill her? Or would you deem her so worthy of some reward? I swear to you, in the name of the power of the sun that you see in the sky, and with the proviso that I be banned forever from the company of my peers, gentlemen and knights, that I would take her as my wife, even if she were ugly, even if she were poor, even if she were of low birth even over the daughter of the Duke of Ferrara. <laughs> well, uh, you wouldn't give up Isabella for such a love anyway, would you? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say I'd almost give up God for such a woman as that. Well, oh, please, come in, come in to tell me who this woman is. I'll be glad to. Stay right there. Fabio! Oh, Fabio! Come down! I want you to meet someone. <laughs> yes, Messer Flaminio is your Fabio. Take a good, a very good look. <laughs> that same young woman who I told you about, who is so loyal and true to her love, <laughs> you are that same knight who is so callous and cared nothing for the love of his mistress. I cannot believe there's been a more perfect deception than this. I can't believe I never recognized her. I looked at her closely a thousand times and never realized. I'll be damned. Oh, oh Clementia, Clementia. Oh, Virginia sent me to find you because he has married off his son and as you know, he has no other woman. So you must come and set the house in order immediately. Mary, Mary to whom? What wife? Well, it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be 
long suit. Yeah, go on. Oh God, you made things come together so well. I'm dying of happiness. Well, don't take too long. I'm all gonna do there. I have so much to do. I have to go now to the market to buy makeup. And well, you know. I mean, I was looking for Lelia because Gerardo has agreed to marry her. <laughs> but she's right here. And, and seriously, you don't expect to marry this young girl off to your pathetic old master. He should be ashamed. Ugh! You don't know how mad my master can be. Why, if you tried to free yourself, you wouldn't talk like that.
to uh, come out because that'll make a long story even longer. <laughs> so um, why don't we uh, go to dinner? We can meet at the end of the Joker. But uh, oh, bring your own money because no one's paying. Give me your wallet, Madison. <laughs> <laughs> Almost no one's paying. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.